I hadn't been a very big person about wanting to go abroad or do any studies whatsoever. I had never even left North America before this, this program at all. And so it was a really actually a very new experience for me to leave the country and be doing research in a very new environment. And it was really special in that way about um, having that a very like new cultural experience at the same time as being able to get more research that was in a very new area. I had very little experience in research and this experience has um, open my eyes to the international scale. These students are talking about PRIME, the Pacific Rim Undergraduate Experiences Program, a unique program that provides undergraduates from UC San Diego with summer collaborative research opportunities at research institutions in Japan, Taiwan, China, and Australia. Students are placed at universities affiliated with the Pacific Rim Applications and Grid Middleware Assembly, or PRAGMA. The activities in, in Pragma are, are um, you know, projects that are self-funded and what the Prime students do is they come in and work in various things and sort of act as glue. So in our case we have uh, students who act as glue between exciting projects, science-based projects here at UCSD and, uh, and the projects in Australia where we're building tools. So it's a pretty natural marriage in, in some sense. Biomedical engineering major Angelina Altshuler spent last summer at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia doing research on heart modeling. All the lab members at Monash were extremely helpful and nice and they were wonderful people to work with. The program benefits not only the student but UCSD and the host institution as well. The research itself is of, of interest to all three parties typically the student because they're interested in, in learning something very specific uh, and both uh, the host mentor and the UCSD mentor on what the the product of what the student uh, produces. Uh. Primary funding for PRIME comes from the National Science Foundation with additional support from the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology. But I think the NSF should be congratulated for taking you know what might be considered a pretty bold and expensive view about how to train the next generation of scientists. So these kids come out and, you know, they haven't just gone through a university degree in one country, they've gone somewhere else, culturally met, you know, other, other cultures and, and worked in other projects. So we'll do anything we can to make it continue. From the second year we added a lot more cultural experience, training, preparedness, awareness, uh, building for the students that go. And each year we've layered another level of uh, if you will, um, hopefully richness into the program to enhance both the research component of this experience as well as the cultural awareness component. I think by going to Japan it was, it reaffirmed that you know, I love doing this, I love going to, I love working internationally. This experience has just shown that there's so many possibilities out there and so much more to learn and I just definitely want to see so many places now. We'll probably retire and sit back and see one of these kids is going to do something great because they're, they're really smart and they're getting an experience that they wouldn't otherwise get. So I think, uh, I think it's a fantastic program. It's not like studying abroad because you're actually doing real world research and you're um, contributing something to the scientific community instead of just learning about it, um, even though you are learning at the same time. Um, and then it's, it's not exactly like an internship because you know you get to go to another country so I guess it's like the best of both worlds. <laughs> Celia Croy and other Prime alums were on hand recently sharing their experiences at a UCSD information session about the program for students interested in international internships. Prime is now gearing up for summer 2007 and its fourth class of undergraduate researchers and organizers hope to attract enough funding to expand the program beginning in 2008.